Hello guys, this is multi 24 gaming with Extreme Landings Pro, and the question for today is, here's our fastest plane, the Concorde, um, the R14, it's the Concorde, okay, they call it, they like to call it technical names, but this is, it's this what it, it's what it is, um, and so, our goal today is to figure out high, how high can you get with the Concorde, and I'm pretty sure that's basically the same as how high can you get in Extreme Landings, because this is the fastest plane and therefore it would probably have the most power to get as high as it could. So, we're going to go straight into it. So let me just pop up here, and we are going to go to Flight Simulator. We'll pick a random place to take off from. Let's see here. Um, let's take off from an island in Greece, yes. Just because. We could take off from Crete. Hmm. Or we could do turkey. I don't care. Alright, confirm. We're going to take off there. Um, Alright, so let's see here. Airport, aircraft, weather. No, that's fine. Take off, and we're going to get this going. Alright, so it's the middle of the night, of course, because it's always like that. So let's actually change it so it's snowing. Well, it should be a clear night. I mean, it'll be cool for it to snow a little bit. So let's just do that. Um, but let's see here. We're going to turn these engines on. Alright all up and ready to go okay so everything's in working order it appears um we don't need that to be down so let's just put our nose up did you do all right everything's working right all right and we're gonna get this going um so okay i'm gonna actually turn this to a normal night uh clear night maybe not without clouds just clear all right and we're gonna see how high we can get this sucker to go so we're just going to full throttle it and see how this goes. All right. So we don't have flaps in this plane. This plane lifts off at about 170. It's like begging to take off. There we go. I've been spending too much time with the business jet, to be honest. Business jet is so maneuverable. It takes so little time to take off. All right. And here we have this Concorde pretty much going up. All right, let's see here. So we're going at about 400 knots, and we're increasing altitude pretty fast. We're going to go to this, and we're actually going to turn the speed all the way up, okay? And we're going to set that so we're going in the relative same direction. And now this is feet per second, so we want to actually turn that up. Uh, obviously that's incorrect. We're going to turn this up, okay? It says 40,000 is the highest it'll let us automatically do it. Let's see. It is going up quite quickly. Let's go back to one and turn this up as high as it'll go. Alright, it won't, won't do the same thing, that's fine. And uh, let us hit time. Ooh, just hit the speed of sound there. This is exciting. We are increasing altitude. We're increasing speed. As soon as we, um... It doesn't look like autopilot will let us be too radical with our, uh... Ascent, per se. So, once we've gotten to about as fast as this plane will let us go, we're gonna start, like, going straight up. So, let's get to 50,000 in height, too. And then we're going to start giving it a... Oh, oh. plane seems to be doing some weird stuff. 38,000. We're still going up. 39,000. Okay. Wait, let's see here. Okay, wait, let's see. I think we have hit the barrier. 40,000 feet, is that as high as we can go? Looks like it. 40,000 feet. We are dropping now. Why are we dropping? Oh, it's going back up. Time again. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. We've gone past 40,000. We went to 44th. All right, wait. Sorry. This is kind of technical. All right, the plane is trying to go up still. Oh, duh. We have the autopilot on. All right, we've turned the autopilot off now. Let's keep trying to go up. There we go. This is going to be good. All right. So the plane's going 1,000 knots. So we should have quite a bit of way room here be able to actually go up. The autopilot will only let us stay up that high. 
Alright, we're losing speed fairly quickly, but this is the only plane... I mean, it's still going double what the, you know, any of the other planes do. Right, 60,000 feet. We might want to sort of level out a little bit. Let's go to this tab. This tab will show us whether we're leveled or not. Yeah. Oopsie daisies. Sounds kind of different in there. That's kind of freaky. We are already almost at Greece. Uh, we're going to go back here. 64,000 feet is where we're at now. Let's level out. We're losing speed dramatically. Uh, let's turn our... That... Nope, nope. That's not good. It seems to want us to go down. 60,000 feet. Is that as high as it's going to let us go? Let's keep going. Let's keep going before... Alright, the knots are falling. They're falling real fast. I'm looking down there. Uh, okay. Alright, plane's going a lot slower than normal. 65,000 feet is what we're at. Can we get to 70,000 feet? If you've seen, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Bridge of Spies. That's where those spy planes in the Cold War were. So, if we can get up there, that would be cool. Doesn't look like it, though. Oh! Wait, are we gonna get to my favorite number? No, we're losing it. We're losing it. The plane's stalling. Alright, the plane has stalled at 67,000 feet. We can round that up to 68. Let's see if it will allow us to speed up. No, it's forcing us to go down. It's forcing our plane down. Alright, that's fine. It's really acting strangely right now. Alright, what we're going to do is... I'm actually... I'm not exactly sure what to do in this situation. Alright, I'm going to level the plane out, okay? plane's leveled out at about 57,000 feet, okay? I'm going to set the autopilot. Oh yeah, speed's as high as it'll go. Alright, well, we'll just hit time then. No, we don't want that on. We want to stay at our current height. We want time though. No, the time is keeping us here. Hmm, this is getting really annoying. Alright. We're going to speed up to uh, the speed we're supposed to be at, again, and then we're going to uh, see, it appears that our plane has turned completely around. Alright, and it's going to level us off at 40,000 feet again, we're going to see if we can get to 69 or 70,000 feet. So we're om So I'm just watching the speed right now to see uh, how close it is. Uh, we're almost there. Alright, 1,100 is pretty good. Alright, we're going to hit time, and we're going up. Straight up. That's what I'm talking about. Like, directly up. That is directly up. It's a little hard to tell. There. Alright, let me just make sure, like, the ground is beneath us. Yes. We're above all the clouds and everything. Nope. It's forcing our plane to turn. Stop. Stay. We've got a very sophisticated... You're not allowed up this way. Alright. Ooh, we got to 68. 69. 70,000 feet. 71, 72, come on, oh, we got to 71,600 and something eight, I'm going to have to check that, but I think that is as high as you can go in extreme landings, that, that does seem to be the case, uh, so, I mean, I think we're rather accomplished in that, I think we did pretty good, um, let me just see if I can get myself a cool thumbnail, oh yes, that's, that's very cool. Um, yeah, well, 69, or, let's see, it was 72,000 something something, or 71,000. I'll have to check it. It's going on the screen right here. Boom, there it is. Uh, <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching. We have discovered how high you can go in extreme landings. So, um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.